cover up your tats, Phil. That's the blunt message to Polly Philip Thompson, whose sleeve tattoo has upset those in the corridors of power. But this proud digger is digging in for the fight. I've got three Buddhas and uh, one's like a, a Buddha that's sleeping and that Buddha kind of looks over you when you're asleep. I've got a happy man, a big fat Buddha um, that you, you know, can't do any wrong by and a young Buddha that keeps you on the straight and narrow. Inside my arm I've got Ben Renato who was killed um, in Afghanistan, so uh, not scary tattoos. My appearance offends them. Philip Thompson is Australia's youngest federal MP. The 32-year-old from Townsville is the member for Herbert in North Queensland, a proud former military man. Excited for his new career path, he was ready to roll up his sleeves and jump right into his first term. But therein lies the problem. I got bailed up by a young female and a middle-aged um, man uh, who were clearly staffers uh, and came up to me and, and told me that I need to roll my sleeves down because my tattoos intimidate people. I thought it was hilarious. I laughed in their face. Um, I thought it was a joke. The staffers refused to tell him which politician had sent them. At first, the interaction left Thompson rattled. Now, he's just angry. You know, it really pisses me off that the person was too cowardly to come talk to me. To send your staff to not come see me is a bit of a slap in my face. But I could walk into any cafe, any bar, any office in Australia and see someone with a sleeve tattoo. So does, it, does that response kind of strike you as strange within this building? But you're a normal person. A lot of the people here aren't normal people. A lot of people here are, are, are very different to, say, where I'm from in Townsville. That's the problem when we don't have a, a broad representation of people in politics. Thompson is a former infantry soldier. Raised by a single mum, he put himself through night school to join the army. At 21 years of age, he found himself serving in Afghanistan. Walking back one day to his patrol base, he stepped over an aqueduct where there was a hidden IED. Everyone else kind of just stepped over. Not being very tall, I kind of had to rock forward, rock back to jump. And as I rocked forward and went back, the bomb went off. Thompson had to be medically evacuated to Tarrancout. He was lucky to survive. Yeah, I still can't hear in my right ear. Um, I was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury and I've lost a lot of my long-term memory and I was also diagnosed with mental illness. So I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Thompson says the years that followed were rocky. His extensive injuries and illness left him in a dark place. But he eventually found solace in helping other veterans get back on their feet. He visited Thailand on his road to recovery and a deep spiritual conversation with a Buddhist monk inspired the tattoos. He also has the name Ben Ronaldo inside his arm, a tribute to a fallen comrade. This man, with his history, is entitled to put a tattoo on his nose if he wants to. It has got nothing to do with them. 3AW host Neil Mitchell believes the incident says more about those representing us in Parliament than it does Thompson. If they feel intimidated by him, then they're cowards. I think we've proved time and time again that we do get tend to get caught in a bubble here. Yeah. Melissa McIntosh, the federal member for Lindsay, is also in her rookie year in Parliament, and she agrees there's yes. bigger issues to tackle in the House of Representatives than a bit of ink. Philip is the quintessential Queenslander, and I know that his community really appreciates the work he's doing. That's all that matters. That's what Parliament's about. I'm guessing that you don't really care if anyone is intimidated by you. Not even a little bit, actually. <laughs> Thompson says he's here to make some changes. In 2018, he was Queensland's Young Australian of the Year for his service to the welfare of veterans, including shedding light on the high rates of suicide. He wants to continue that work in Canberra. The most important person here, my wife. His wife, Jenna, is a proud Aboriginal woman and Thompson wants to be a part in making a better Australia for his two little girls, two-year-old Aston and seven-week-old Emery. We need a small business owner, someone that owns a cafe, a hairdresser, a truckie, um, you know, uh, single parents, soldiers, 
people that aren't just lawyers and doctors. I think we need people like that here because they fight for you, they represent you. You know, we need people from all different walks of life here to represent people because that's our job. And we're running a poll to see if you think MPs should be made to cover up their ink in Parliament. 85% are on Phil's side, saying absolutely not, and just 15% say they should.